What's up everyone? This is Mini and today I'm coming at you with my recommendations for the tier 9 1v1 brawls in World of Warships. Before we get into those, a couple of quick things. One, don't forget to like the video and two, make sure to help me by subscribing to my channel. About 70 to 75% of you watching haven't hit that subscribe button yet so make sure to hit it so I can keep making content. Now, with the brawls, an important thing to remember with these brawls is that you are going to be matched up against anybody. So you may be in a battleship, but you could fight a cruiser, a destroyer, and so on and so forth. So your ship needs to be able to fight whatever it is going to come across. So that does lower our choices. Additionally, I try to provide a variety of premium and tech tree recommendations for each class so that no matter who you are, you have the option of something to play. But there are going to be ships that are going to end up being better for this mode and some that are going to be worse but let's start with dds now when looking at dds you're going to want to have a couple things you're going to want to have a radar and preferably a hydro as well or at least a hydro due to the fact that you're going to want to be able to watch and see where the torps are coming from and the radar is really nice if you run to another dd or a smoke cruiser so that you can smash the cruiser for the DDs, the first one I recommend is the Black. The reason I recommend the Black is beyond be coming back into the game just recently, you have that smoke on yourself and you have a heal, plus you have really high damage torps that come in at 21,600 max damage. This allows you to fight well against battleships or cruisers, and in a straight up fight against a DD, most of the time between the smoke and the radar, you are going to win that 100%. The next DDs I'm going to recommend are two tech tree DDs. The first one is going to be the French Tier 9, which is the Mogador. The reason for the Mogador is even though it has a higher detection, it has several advantages to it. One, it has a lot of uh, guns. It's got eight guns, even though it has a long reload base. You have a reload booster. Two, you have an engine boost, which means that you can be constantly moving, making it very hard for the enemy, the enemy to hit you. And three, it has French saturation, which means that you are going to be able to take less damage as time goes on and your ship gets saturated, which means you're going to be able to trade more and more the lower you get. Additionally, it has the multiple sets of torpedo tubes on each side with a very low reload time, which means you can be spamming these out to get damage quickly. The next tech tree DD I would recommend you consider is the United Kingdom Tier 9, which is the Jutland. The reason for considering the Jutland is you get the advantage of one of the lowest detections in the game when you put concealment mods on it. And you have still decent guns, you get a short range hydro, you get the short range smoke, and you get a heal, which cannot be uh, overstated how valuable that is to have the heal on it. Now, the final one I'm going to recommend is the Italian Premium Tier 9, which is the Paolo Emilio, also known as the Yolo Emilio. Reason for this one is because it has the engine smoke generator, which means you can go full speed in your smoke, which allows you to get close to enemy ships, as well as having the large amount of torps to be able to drop and dump on an enemy ship. And with that amount of torps, 12 torps coming out at 23,000 maximum damage, you are going to kill a battleship or a cruiser or a destroyer if you hit them. You also have the 4x2 guns that come with the HE or the sap choice, so you can do some really nice damage to enemy destroyers, which makes this all around one of the really good choices for the mode. At the cruiser level, your main choices are going to end up being German because you're going to want that Hydro to try to dodge the Torps and in case of a smoke. So that's going to leave you with two choices of the Azir or the Siegfried because both of those are tier 9 cruisers. The Azir, of course, is available for a thousand, or sorry, pardon me, a million free XP. And in addition to the Hydro, it also comes with the torps which means that you can fight against any ship that comes up on you siegfried you get from the armory once again it has the torps and the hydro which means that you can really do some good damage with these if you don't have either of those and you're looking tech tree line i would recommend considering even though i don't like it as much you could consider the riga which is the uh, soviet union's heavy cruiser line at tier 9 
It has decent guns, it's got ability to bow take against enemy cruisers and battleships, and it has the radar which will help you smack out a DD you find. Also an intriguing one I've seen recommended and some people taken recently is considering taking the Neptune, which is the tier 9 light. The reason you consider taking the Neptune is because it comes with the uh, super heal, it has the hydro, and you can swap the smoke generator out for surveillance radar or keep the surveillance radar or keep the smoke and just sit in it and so this is going to work really well against dds it's got some really nice ap 12 guns worth at a 4.8 second reload to slap cruisers and you also have the torps to work on battleships along with your main guns so i've seen some people pulling out the neptune as a recommend finally for battleships, there's really only two choices for battleships in this mode, and once again, both of them are German. The first choice is going to be the Ruprecht, and the reason for the Ruprecht is you've got the 406mm guns, you've got the long-range secondaries, you've got the 4x4 set of torps, you've got the Hydro. This is one of the top picks in the mode. And the other one that's going to be recommended is the Pommern. Little bit lower caliber of gun, little bit longer reload, but you have more guns. You still have nice long range secondaries. You have the 2x4 set of 6 kilometer torps. You have the Hydro. You're going to see a lot of the Pommern and Ruprecht in the brawls. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope these recommendations help you out. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help me keep making great content. And this is Mini, signing off.